<laughs> Friends, now you have snuck in on one of my favorite moments of the day, giving to my beloved Susan. You know, when you're in a long-term relationship and you really want it to be loving day after day, you look for things that you're doing during the day that might connect you no matter how busy you are with everything else. And this is one of those miracles. When I'm home, and I've been home with COVID 18 months, I make Susan her breakfast, lunch. It's, uh, it started out as feta cheese, and then she wanted it changed to cheddar months later. A feta, or now cheddar cheese omelet sandwich on bread, two eggs, and yeah, the whole time I'm making it, I'm thinking of her and the thrill of being able to do something for her, to know that in her own free time she'll eat the sandwich. You know, what's so important, I want to impress again and again, when you're in love, what can you do that shows your love for the person and it doesn't be, have to be something that's written down or something you are saying yourself. I make the sandwich, put it on the counter over there and she does whatever she does with it <laughs> sometime during the course of the day. And so, maybe the message is, think of things you can do for your beloved that are things that delight them, and in delighting them, delight you. The shocking thing is I've never found a public school in the world, 82 countries or anywhere in the U.S., teaching one hour K through 12 on loving. And there are many, many pointers First, when you notice you're having an overwhelming feeling of sweetness, kindness, yum yum towards another human being, check to see if it is romance that you're talking about. I mean, you can have that for a friend, but this is friend and romance. And the thrilling thing about romance is that here's an opportunity for you to fully open yourself to all of their love and to open yourself to giving yours, to give vulnerability, to give hope and playfulness, playmateness. That's one thing. It's funny. You don't hear romance much mention playmate, but Susan is a magnificent playmate for me. And I'm trying to be one for her. And we have cute and adorable things we do in that context. Like the making of an omelet cheese sandwich. So, first off, you want to be a wonderful shower of your love. And you want the receiver to be a person who wants it. If you notice they don't want it, then maybe you should question whether or not romance is what's in the air. But when they love it, oh boy, take advantage of it. I think it's the greatest thing that's happened in my life is the romance with Susan and how it was today and yesterday, and the day before, and how I know it will be tomorrow, to romance. Yum. Yeah.